Defenses and a bigger collection of guns than the other guy. It stands to reason. No, 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 no! Keep them out of here! We do not want any more old folks! If there are any old people listening, go back to your homes. Florida does not want you! Please, die somewhere else! What's wrong with Nevada? Kansas? We want a river! We need a river! The Freedom River! And what about the other crimes? It seems star crime. Fashion crime, drugs, everything is on the rise. Absolutely. Of course it is. When I was in Uganda, people were poor, but they were happy. The more you have, the less you have. And that's kind of what I'm all about. There's satisfaction in spending all day weaving a basket. My husband and I some advice to help keep things hot in the bedroom. Take a longboat with 20 of your finest men. Head to where the sun sets. There you will find the village. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello, welcome back to Kerchak. I'm a woman, so I know it's important to discuss feelings. That's why we don't have any male hosts on this station. People open up more to women. I was telling my girlfriend yesterday, if a woman were president, we'd nuke a country every 28 days. <laughs> In these times of trouble, of international scary things that cause anxiety, people seek soul ice. Or is that solace on the bed? Some visit lady friends, others go to a bar, and a strange few talk to rocks. My next guest is the author of this book, I'm Lovin' the Coven. She sits on the board of the Vice City Res Renaissance Committee, Jeff Semini. Personal, I appreciate your attempt to press the point, but we are here to press the issue. Vice City is in trouble. And I think we're not really providing any serious solution. So far, we've got secessionism rearing its ugly head for the first time in a century and a half. We've got ignore it, and we've got give everyone a flower. You're all a, a little unrealistic, yes? Maurice, not to say over opinionated and moronic, Mr. Crayshaw, how do we stop people running amok in the city with machine guns and heavy artillery? You've got to give a man a chance. Prisons are overflowing with wasted potential. Make the guilty men innocent once more. Free them from themselves. How? How on earth do you do that? Well, you could let them off. Marvelous. Great. That's a sensible plan. Then they wouldn't be guilty anymore. We've been doing that for years, you idiot. How do you think we keep prison costs down? They ain't by magic or cooking the books. We save that for education. But, as in most things, we in government are saving money so that you don't have to. When we spend less money on services, more goes to administration salaries and expenses, which helps make lives a lot less difficult for everybody. It's about sharing. Sharing your taxes out amongst the select few. That's why I worked so hard at school, so I can reap the rewards now. Mm, I thought you worked hard at school because the other kids laughed at you and called you a square. <laughs> That's a damn lie. They call me wet part. They called me the bat because my voice didn't break until I was 19. So, Mr. Shrub, I take it you don't believe in regulation. I believe...
No problem. Tommy Versetti is an innocent man. the vehicle. Take a break and listen to a few commercials. If you're well informed about music and tell everyone as I do, you won't go away. The key to feeling great is looking great, and the way to look great is to have great hair. That's great. Take your hair higher. Take your hair to the with Sissy Spritz, when you're clubbing or sticking your head out of a stretch limo sunroof, you want to know your hair is performing to the limit. You best let old lady killer out of the doghouse. Give me that back, tough guy.